If you're using Contact Form 7 on your WordPress website, then I'm sure you're getting bombarded with spam. So in today's video, we're going to look at five proven methods to stop spam dead in its tracks so they never get to your inbox. Hey, I'm Dan Davis. If you're new to the channel and you're looking for more real life WordPress tips and tricks, make sure you subscribe. And if you liked the video or you found it useful, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Okay, so what is Contact Form 7? Contact Form 7, as you can see here, is one of the most popular WordPress plugins in the repository. It's got over 5 million downloads, and rightly so. I've been using it on all of mine and my clients' websites for years, as it's super easy to use and to customize. You'll see in a moment just how easy it is to install and to set up a contact form on your website so you can start receiving inquiries from your visitors. It does have one big downside though, which I'm sure you're already aware of, uh, or if you haven't started using it yet, you're about to find out. Out of the box, the form is unprotected from spam. So you'll quickly be getting emails from Bill selling you all sorts of insurance or ways of getting rich quick. So we need to find a way to stop the spam coming through, but ensuring that all the genuine emails are still coming through to your inbox. So let's get Contact Form 7 installed on a demo site so we've got something to play with for this example. Okay, so once we've logged into our WordPress dashboard, we need to head over to Plugins, and the first thing we need to install is Contact Form 7. So we just need to search Contact Form 7. As you can see here, 5 million active installs. So click Install Now, and then activate it. So from here, we just click on Settings, and you'll see there's already been a form created. If you just click on that quickly, you'll see it's got a name field, email address, subject, your message, and a submit button. Now there are other options and we'll go through them in a different video, but for now, we're just concentrating on this and uh, how to stop spam. So on this contact item, you'll see here's the short code. So we just need to select that and copy it. And then we can head over and, and create a brand new page so for this example, we'll call this, let's close that. So for this, we'll call it contact, then we'll paste the short code in here. As you can see, Gutenberg will also identify that it's um, the contact form seven. So it'll select the form that we want, which is contact form one, hit publish, publish, and then we can view the page. And then we can see here's the form, and then we can quickly send ourselves an email. There we go, your message has been sent, so there we go. So today we're gonna to cover five ways in which we can tackle spam as an issue with Contact Form 7. I'll give you my pros and cons for each so you can decide which one's the best for you and your website. Okay, so the first option that we can look at is by installing a plugin, like a third-party plugin that is specifically designed to try and stop spam. So let's just do that quickly so we can show you. So if you head over to Plugins, Add New, and if we type in contact form seven spam killer, this one will come up. It's got five star reviews. So you click install now, activate. And then the first thing you gotta do is to go to settings and you need to enable this extension. Save settings. And then I won't go into too much detail on this one, but I'll just show you roughly what it does. You can head over to your contact form seven now you will have to repeat this process for every contact form that you've got. Like for this example, we've only got one contact form, so it's fine. So we wanna put it just above the submit button. So we'll just type in, uh, well, we'll just add this short code, insert recapture, and then save. If we head over to the contact form, you'll see now that the contact form is there, same as what we had earlier, and we've now got this quiz to try and stop any bots from filling in this form and filling your inbox with spam. Right, so let's fill in our details like we did earlier. And then obviously if we get this wrong, invalid answer. Or if we leave it blank, one or more fields has an error, please check and try again. Obviously, if we put it in correctly, it gets sent. So for me with this one, the advantages are it's quick, it's easy to set up, it works, so it'll stop spam coming through to you. Disadvantages for me is this is ugly, you know, I don't want my potential leads or clients 
having to do a maths quiz just to send me an inquiry. It also smells of, you know, you've got a spam problem on your website. And personally, I would prefer to have a contact form that didn't have this in it. Plus, I just feel like if you've got a design heavy website, so for like this one, you can see like the forms on the left hand side and the right hand side, they all line up nicely together. I just think adding in a quiz just would maybe mess up the design on some websites. So yeah, for me, it works, but it wouldn't be my preferred choice. Right, so the second way of tackling spam with Contact Form 7 is to use Contact Form 7's built-in quiz feature. So this will generate the same result as on option one, which is the question. And obviously it would mean installing one less plugin because using a plugin to block spam is never an ideal option. You know, more plugins, more bloat. You know, it's always better, I feel, to use less plugins than more. So yeah, let's have a look at the built-in quiz feature that Contact Form 7 recommend using for spam. So again, if we go to Contact, Contact Form 7, as you can see here, if you head over to contactform7.com forward slash quiz, if you scroll down, you'll see some examples that they've given. So if we just take this one and we paste the quiz into the contact form seven again this will be something you've got to do on every single form that you've got so if you've got multiple forms you will have to add this to each form but look if we submit that so you can go you can see our form again and this time we've got the quiz that we've added for in our contact form so we just here you can see look we added 12 plus 48 and the answer is 60 so if there's anything that we put in that isn't 60 in this it won't work so this will work exactly the same way as the previous So again, if we type in 61 here, look, same results. If we leave it blank, it's a mandatory field. But if we put in 60, it works. Your message has been sent. So again, for me, this is a quick and easy way to solve spam. You know, it's better than nothing. Certainly as a minimum, I would recommend having this. So the advantage is that it, you know, it is quick, it is easy. Um, the disadvantages for me are the same as on the previous example. It does look ugly and, you know, I, I don't always want people that want to get in touch with me to have to do a maths quiz. So, yeah, I, I would not choose this as my preferred option, but it is a solution. And I'll leave in the description below the link to the Contact Form 7 quiz page um, along with the example so that you can try them yourselves if that is the option that you want to go with. So my third solution is using uh, another plugin, which you know you may have installed on your website already, which is Akismet. If you don't have this installed, then you know it is a good idea to have it installed. You know it is free, um, and also it does provide some protection for comments from from blog posts. Yeah, let's go ahead and install that quickly and just run through the setup for that. You may find that as it's one of the most popular plugins on WordPress, that it's already on your most popular or featured. But if it's not, just search for it there. You just need to go ahead and install Akismet Spam Protection. Activate. And then you can run through the setup. Now, once you've created one account, you can use the same API key on several accounts. You can just, once you've got your API key, you can just enter it in on any website that you're dealing with. But for this example, let's run through the setup. It's for a personal blog so you don't have to pay anything so let's get personal you can dictate how much you want to pay if you feel like you're getting benefit from it you know you can happily slide this scale and pay whatever you want likewise you can pay nothing so for this test we won't pay anything we'll just set up here just a quick example to show you um, Example, I don't have ads on my site, I don't sell products, I don't promote. And then once you've done that, you just gotta wait for the verification code. Once you've received your email, you can paste in the code, continue, just to verify you. And then that's the setup process complete. Now they're gonna email you to the same email address, your API key, and then I'll show you where you can paste that in so that your site is now protected. So you head over to plugins, uh, on Akismet, you click settings and we're back to this screen where you can enter your API in manually. So obviously if you had this already, you can paste it in here. If it's something that you've just been emailed by them, you can paste it in there. I've got my API key here. I can connect with API key. 
and then you've got some settings here. So we can run all comments to be run through it. And then you can set, you know, your preferences here. But for now, we'll just leave this as it is. Save changes. And now your site has been protected by Akismet. Now this doesn't mean that contact form seven is yet being protected by Akismet, but your site in general is. So in order to integrate this with contact form seven, let me just show you. So we need to head over to contact. If you hover over contact, you'll see integration and you'll see some options here, which we'll cover in a moment, but you'll see Akismet spam protection is active on this site. So if you, I always open this with a new tab, just so we don't lose this page, because generally it opens in the same page. And then it gives you the instructions of how you can use Akismet to protect your contact form. So we head over to contact. So we head over to our contact form. Now in, to integrate Akismet with our contact form, there are three fields that Akismet verify. We've got author, which is obviously the name. We've got author email address, which you can use for email address and author URL, which is what you can use for, you know, the website that they've entered. So this form doesn't have a URL, so we can't verify that one, but we can with the other two. So again, I'll put the links in the description, which will link to the Akismet page on contact form seven to give you these instructions, but just to show you how we would set this up. So for the name, we can use Akismet colon author. And then for email, we can verify with Akismet colon author email. Now, what this will do is this will mean that all inquiries running through your contact form will go through the Akismet spam filter to filter out any contact that attempt to get in touch with you. So we can view this contact form now. So there we go, there's the contact page. So this for me is a better solution than the other two because to start with, we don't have a quiz. So we don't have to change how our form looks. It's invisible, so that's great. It's, this has never been a solution that I've used. I'll come on to those now in a second. But from all accounts, you know, this is a, a solid solution. But obviously it does involve setting up account with Akismet, getting the API key, configuring it that way. So, so yeah, so it's a solid solution. Definitely one to consider not being my go to, but it does work. So number four for today is using contact form seven honeypot. Now, this is a nice way of blocking spam. And this was my go to for years for my clients and for my website. So this is, again is a plugin. So head over to plugins, add new and search for contact form seven honeypot. And here it is, Honeypot for Contact Form 7. You can quickly install this and activate it. Right, so the way the Contact Form Honeypot works is it adds a field into the contact form that only bots can see. So they're not visible to the human eye. So you can create a field such as email address, and then that field, if it's populated, the form will know it's not been filled in by human, so it will filter that email out and never land in your inbox. So if we show you how it works, once we've installed the honeypot, we just need to head over to the contact form settings. Again, this will need to be done for every form that you've got. We've got your name here, and what we can do now is we can head over to honeypot, and this is where we've got the honeypot option. So as you can see, by default, it's creating a new input called honeypot390. And as you can see, it says for better security, change honeypot to something more appealing to a bot, such as text, including email or website. So for this, we could call it email address. And then you can see once we've tabbed, this now becomes a honeypot field called email address. And there are some other options here we won't cover in this video, but can improve the reliability of this plugin. I like to use inline CSS so it doesn't add any line breaks and then insert tag. So what you'll see now is you've got your label here, which was your first one. Then we've got the honeypot, which is email address. And then we've got the real email address field, which is called your email, but it's labeled email. So it's slightly different to email address. And then we've got the rest of our form. So if we save this, and we go over to the front end and have a look at this page. As you'll see, this form now looks like a normal form, but in between these two items, there's a hidden input field called email address that only bots can see. So if we go to inspect this form, and we look at the inspector tool, we'll see, oh, and there's one in the middle here, and then this is our email address. 
So this is a bot catching input field. So like I said, this for me was my go-to for years. It did work. Um, I did find that over time it did reduce spam, but it didn't stop spam. So this is why I now combine this option on all of my sites with the next one that I'm about to cover. Um, and that gives me, I'd say, a close to 100% success rate with spam filter. Again, Honeypot for Contact Form 7 is a great solution. You know, it is another plugin. You know, I always try and reduce the number of plugins. You know, it is a lightweight plugin. It doesn't use much resources um, and doesn't really generally cause anything to go wrong. But, you know, my preferred option, this is what I use for all of my website now. And like I said, I don't get any spam coming through from any of my customers contact forms if you go to contact and you click on integrations um, and scroll down you'll see here recapture this uses google's recapture so if we open up this page here you can see a, a brief explanation from um, contact form 7 about this solution and then you'll see a link here as you're registering a site to recapture admin console so if we open this page up so you need to be signed into a Google account in order to be able to do this. Once you're signed in, you'll get this option to register a new site. Now this doesn't cost anything, this is a free service. And just for your record, you can enter a URL. So there we go, I've entered a URL. I use V3. V3 is an invisible capture, so it's not one that you see where you've got to enter how many helicopters you see, how many buses you see, how many zebra crossings you see this one is invisible i love this one does it with a score i select recapture v3 enter your domain in so i've got my domain here leave your owner's address in here if you want to share it with anyone else you can you can enter hi uh, i am um, enter another email address accept the recapture terms and then submit and you'll then get presented with your key and your secret which you can copy and paste in here so copy the secret head on back paste that in and save uh, and just like with all the other examples let's head back to the form and as you can see form looks clean crisp there's no quiz nothing to potentially put off anyone who's about to fill in your form users can enter their name email and then this does magic this stops spam coming through to your inbox and it's like night and day with contact form 7 without it you'll get an influx of spam once you enable it they stop dead so this one is my recommendation um you know let me know which one you use if i've missed any put them in the comments below and i'll have a look at them and i'll give you my thoughts but yeah for me recapture version 3 uh, integrated into contact form 7 is the best solution for preventing spam with contact form 7 so I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure you hit the like. And if you're looking for more WordPress tips and tricks, make sure you subscribe for the next video. And if there's anything particular you'd like me to cover, make sure you drop a comment below and I'll see if I can do that. See you on the next one.